he would say things like, oh, I have to do this because otherwise um, God will punish you even harder. I was scared and I was holding a grudge because I needed him to say sorry. He never said sorry. And I'm like, I can't change him. All I can do is on my part. When I was about one, one and a half, my mum moved to Paris with me and with my baby sister in her tummy. What exactly happened between my parents to this day, I don't really know. My dad stayed in, in Germany. He had like a huge negative connotation. Whenever mum would talk to him on the phone, she would cry. Mum um, died in December 2005. And um, I actually recently found out that she committed suicide. In the process of all of that, our father um, made his way to France to pick us up because he was still in Germany. We stayed with our dad for about five years. Our dad, um, unfortunately, um, physically abused us and beat us. And we would spend um, hours at night um, studying the Bible. Um, but always, like from his perspective, like he would give us bits and pieces and I think in his head teach us um, but not really let us like meditate on it ourselves. He justified um, the whole beating and the whole like punishing um, with the Bible. That whole thing started a process of my sister and I moving out and we came into foster care I grew up thinking God is um, a mean God, a God that actually does not like me. To me, everything that was church, Bible related, I wasn't interested in. I wasn't interested in spending hours um, for one service in church on a Sunday. I really didn't want to go. Life is very ironic. I believe that God is a funny God. <laughs> I landed in a Christian family. You can imagine, I was not happy about that. I had one foster sister back then. She um, would show up every Friday and invite me to church. One day I got very annoyed. So I said to her, I will come once if you never ask me again. We go to church and I loved it. I first just stayed because of the people and because I really liked the fellowship. People told me that what my father had told me about God and about the Bible actually wasn't true and that God is a good God and a loving God and a patient God as opposed to an angry God that is a punishing God. For the first time in my life, I actually read the Bible for myself. Like if there's anything to it, I want to I wanna know. The Bible is all about love from beginning till the end. That was where it made click for me. I was like, yeah, I want that. I want to live a life as a Christian. That was the best thing I've ever done in my life. We're called to forgive, which is super hard because if you imagine someone hurting you over and over again, and then the Bible preaches, you're not supposed to hold that against them. That's a huge challenge, but that's actually the goal. I forgive because um, I want to move on and because he's my father and because holding a grudge is, um, is not healthy.